Girls and for Absolute Radio. It's a pleasure and a privilege to have on the show right now, Mr. Nicky Wyatt on the phone. How are you doing, sir? I'm all right. You're nerve all right. Wracked, wretched. <laughs> nerve wracked. Usual feeling. Why are you? Mate. Why are you nerve wracked, uh, Nicky? I know it's just these, these, the the endless kind of possibilities of a digital launch are always fraught with danger. <laughs> <laughs> always a little bit scary. Uh, so you have got a, a brand new album out this year. Workhorses. Yeah. Should you not be taking it a little bit easier? You know, you've already done umpteen albums, Nicky. You don't need to be busting one out every single year. <laughs> Well, to two a year, I think we're I know. going for <laughs> <It's> <laughs> two ridiculous. every twelve months. It just, uh, just felt right. It just felt like when we were doing Rewind the Film, that was a very kind of organic, warm, mm. acoustic 70s album. And yeah. that one felt much more straight lines, new pop, yeah. new wave, post-punk. You know, it, it just, just felt like the right time to do it. Mm. I, you know, the older you get, the more desperate you are. To express yourself, I guess. <laughs> Clamouring for relevance, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nicky, well, it's great uh, to see you back with a brand new album. Uh, the first taste of it is uh, Warm Me to the Bridge. Another fantastic filmic video. Is this you now? Are you kind of like uh, getting into the directing game? Well, I think our videos have always worked um, really well mm. when I'm kind of telepathically in touch with a director you know it happened in back in the old days with uh, Wiz in particular with mm-hmm. Tolerate and You Love It and stuff and with Kieran Evans who won the BAFTA for Kelly and Victor you know he did Rewind the Film and mm-hmm. Show Me the Wonder and Anthem and we just had a big chat about this trying to get the feeling of Berlin and Run Lola Run and I don't know it just just comes across as such a vivid even I was shocked when I watched it this morning <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the computer I just think God I just feels so you know, it just looks so glossy. Yeah. That would have cost like 200 grand in the 90s. It's modern recording techniques. You, you can release an album on like, you know, 10 quid and a, a copy of Pro Tools. Nowadays, all you need is a nice camera, a couple of lights, and then you're kind of sorted, I think. Yeah, and an idea, I think, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and and the talent as well, Nicky. <laughs> <laughs> just the pace of it. And, yeah. Um, no, really, really, you know, we've on a, we're on a hot streak. We certainly you have times when videos can be the biggest nightmare of all, but it feels good when you're, in, you're confident when you're in someone else's hands you trust. Um, and the, the song itself, uh, What Me To The Bridge, yeah, was, I heard it was possibly about you thinking about leaving the band, being f- f- feeling a little bit burnt out. Was that true? Yeah, it's just that stream of conscious idea. The germ of it was quite a long time ago. And mm. um, just the idea of how motion and change in scenery can totally change your outlook on life, that when we left Sweden on that amazing I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it the Orison Bridge mm. and before you know it you're arriving in Denmark and you've had this sort of out of body experience and the whole thing has lifted you out of a gloom so mm. it's that idea that travel or architecture or just something can just totally change the way you feel you know you look I look back over the band's career on that that um, that wherever I'm not quite sure it's not even that long a journey and then by the time it was over you can't wait for the next gig in uh, Copenhagen all those things fed into that sense of of motion and mystery yeah and uh, well as you coined I think a mixture of lifeblood and holy bible isn't that your quote Oh, I don't know, to be honest. I, I say a lot of things, Nicky, to be honest, but it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure for you to remember anything I've done, to be quite frank. It's, uh, you are uh, going to be uh, heading for uh, Glastonbury, of course, and Tea in the Park as well, two fairly hefty f- festivals with two fairly uh, different populaces, I suppose. Oh, yeah, I mean, we haven't... Um, Tea in the Park is always... Uh, when we ever we've played this, but, you know, Scotland in particular, it's just, you know, always been, to be honest, the whole of the country. You know, we've mm. just come off a tour where we've been blown away that people are still so utterly into us playing mm. the 40, 50,000 people over the last, uh, you know, four weeks. Glastonbury, we haven't done for, I think, send with Tiger, so probably a good six, seven years. Um, yeah. It's always interesting. <laughs> well, have you kind of uh, mellowed a little bit on Glastonbury? It never leaves me, does <laughs> it? My bag is, my past is always there. Taking the pounce. <laughs> you should, uh, what was it sort of about a motorway, I seem to recall, you know, it's, it's <laughs> always going to come back to bite you on the behind. Yeah, still building the bypass in my head. Um... <laughs> I mean, I did think it was... I guess that's the perverse nature of the band at the time, that we thought it was really funny, <laughs> whereas everyone else thought it was deep defensive. And we were kind of in that cocoon around that time. It was just, yeah. you know, that like the four of us against the world. But, um, oh, God, I'm sure Glastonbury's going to outlast me, that's for sure. <laughs> it's, it's looking like an amazing bill, I've got to say, Glastonbury. Yeah. <laughs> one of the most stunning lineups over 
uh, what weekend you'll ever get. Yeah. <laughs> Just hope there's a few to see us. <laughs> and yeah, you're going to be part <laughs> of it, of course. Uh, finally, for now, it was the PFA Player of the Year uh, last night, and Luis Suarez did bag it. Was he a worthy winner? I know you're a big football fan, uh, Nicky. I think, uh, yeah, I think yeah, in between between him and Yaya, it was pretty, you know, pretty thin line. But yeah, been a, been an amazing season. Really, and I just hope Gareth Bale can finish it in style and win the European Cup. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, Nicky, thank you so much for joining us. We're really looking forward to uh, the, the, the next taste uh, from the new album. Have uh, a great summer, and I'm sure we'll speak to you before uh, Glastonbury. So uh, okay. have a great week, yeah, Nicky. Yeah, I'm bye sure bye. we'll be in. Thanks, <laughs> Pete.